You would like it if I bought it for you? You would, huh? Oh, goodness. Bat the eyelashes like you learned to do. There you go. It's 11 a.m. I wanted to get out of here at 9. Why is there always this two hours of stuff that ends up taking up all the time? But it's all good. <laughs> she knew what I was doing. Okay, I guess I'm taking a road trip with a chicken. What's her name? It's, it's, it's a he. He. It's Chansey. It's Chansey. That's Chansey the chicken. Chansey the chicken. Who is going on the road trip with us. Okay, this is a girl's weekend. We are going to have so much fun. Um, I have to get to San Diego because we have a 7 o'clock appointment to get our mani petties done. And um, I forgot my hairbrush, so Noah ran. Noah ran in the house to get it for me. Thank you, Noah. All right, Noah's uh, going to hold down the fort while we're gone. We're good. Love you. Love you. Noah's holding down the fort, taking care of all the critters, and um, I guess we're bringing a bird, too. Yes. And uh, we're going to have a blast. We're going to have fun, and we'll see you at the next stop. And now I need to start this car, and we need to get on the road. So, see you soon. Okay, what Friday would be complete without a little stop to drop off some mail, which is what we have to do. I go. Let me show you. I get to go to the business mail entrance, which is at the back of the post office here. And normally I back up over there because I have so many packages, but today I just have one bag full. There's actually about 10 things to ship in here. So we're gonna get that done, and then we're gonna get on the road. Okay, all wrapped up. Okay, that's it. That's all that we had to do. Just drop them off in those bins. Mm -hmm. We sort them by first class and priority. And then it, this is the processing. This is the main hub of Las Vegas. So this this cuts off at least 12 hours of, of processing time, if not an entire day, depending on what time they're dropped off. And this gets things to my customers a lot faster. So if I'm ever in the area, I do directly drop off at the bulk. So you might want to check, like if your area has one, it's really good. I've, I've never had a package not get scanned from this facility. I have problems with some of the, the little outlying post offices. That's where I get the issues or on the carrier pickup. Never had a problem dropping off at the bulk station. So try to do it when I can. Okay, it's going to get really noisy because there's trucks coming in and out of here delivering that mail. So with that, I'll be back in a little bit. I almost said go be profitable. This is not the end of the video. I don't need to say that right now. I'll be back. So I got Rachel all excited to try White Castle burgers and they're closed. Now, I realized when I came through here on my way home the last time that they were I figured they were closed because, it, you know, they were closing early. No, no. It is the middle of the day, and they're just closed. And the worst thing is there's nothing else here except, like, the, the stuff that's on rollers, like you can get at 7-Eleven. And we don't want that. <laughs> we wanted something a, a little better than that. So now we have to drive, like, another 20, 25 minutes, hopefully, to go find a Carl's Jr. So... Is that chicken, like, just taking your place on this trip? Yeah. Is that what's going to happen? The chicken will speak for you? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Chansey Chicken, how do you feel about White Castle being closed? I want burgers. Did you just say it clucks? What? They said you want a burger. You want a burger. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. <laughs> he wants a burger. Okay, we're going to go find a burger. <laughs> The chicken wants a burger. And of course, we have not even gotten out of Nevada and we are absolutely in, what are we doing? We're 
we're doing that. We're doing 10 miles per hour. This is gonna be a long trip at this rate. We still, like, we're headed to Carl's Jr. because we're hungry. And there's supposed to be a Carl's Jr. up here. So, oh, let's see what that says. What does that say? Excessive speed can cost your life. Slow down. Um, just saying. <laughs> Trust me, we have no excessive speed going right now. All right, we're in Prim, Nevada, in case you've never seen Prim, Nevada. Prim, Nevada is right before State Line. It's right before you cross over into California. Uh, it's kind of like the last Nevada stop that you can make as you're heading out. And we're going to get off at the Prim exit so that we can get some food because I have a hungry chicken in the back seat. A very hungry chicken in the back seat. Hopefully, whatever this traffic is, is not going to be for very long. Clears up and we can get to Yermo, which is our next destination. Well, we thought we were going to be kind of home free <laughs> and after a little stop I went live for just a few minutes to update everybody but and then we got back on the road and it started to open up and now we are in the middle of nowhere literally I guess it's somewhere but it's the middle of nowhere um, but yeah we're we're not moving we're not moving Okay, maybe we're moving like a little bit. Like, okay, we're moving like that much. <laughs> this is really bad. We're we're not even, we just crossed over the California state line. We're not even to state line yet. This is really bad. We may be having to cancel our nail appointment tonight at this rate. I don't want to either, honey. I don't want to either. Lord knows my nails need treatment. But, this is not good. This is not good at all. All right, we'll keep on trucking. Okay, ah, uh, we see what the problem is now. Okay, I'm gonna not be covered up by this truck so you can see what is causing our little delay, which is good news. It means that we're gonna be opening up soon. And we get to see get to see firefighter. Oh, oh, he just blew his own hat up. Oh my goodness. He's got issues. Oh my goodness. He's got issues. <laughs> Did we just really catch that on film? <laughs> oh, I felt so bad for him. But we had a brush fire here and our wonderful fire department personnel. Oh, look, it's still burning right there. Woo, doggies. Fire, fire. Okay, well, that was our holdup. All right, we are back. We're flying. We're back up to speed. I'm not filming. Rachel's filming right now. Don't worry. Okay, on our way. Well, we thought we were really going to get to Yermo in a good amount of time, but I don't know if you can see up there in the distance, there's more black smoke, which looks like there is another brush fire, or at least something's on fire. It's either a car on fire or it's a brush fire. So we're moving a little faster. Well, I might speak too soon here, um, but we're going pretty slow. And I don't know if that's before or after our exit to Yermo, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get to Yermo sometime in the next, who knows how long. <laughs> it really should only be in about 10 minutes, but it could be a little further. Ooh, that's some pretty thick black smoke up there. So, um, as we get closer, I'll, I'll show you what it is. Alright, we're coming up on... I, it's, something's definitely, definitely on fire. It's definitely on fire up here. Okay, I'm not looking at my camera. Don't worry, guys. I'm not driving out of my viewfinder. So, if I get a little off <laughs> from showing you, it's because I'm focusing on the road and I'm just holding my camera. All right, we're a little closer, but you can see whatever it is, it is, it's burning, burning. I just, I hope it's a little brush fire and not like a car accident. 
not a car on fire, an RV on fire. Let's just hope. Let's just hope that somebody just tossed a cigarette out the window and started a fire. I mean, that's not great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying that's better than than an accident. Hello. We're just outside of Yermo. We haven't made it to Yermo yet. We thought we, we should have been in Yermo right now had we not gotten back in this kind of traffic. Like, this is just the, this is about the slowest trip I've ever had going to San Diego. Like, all of you people who say, don't just drive, just drive. It's an easy drive. Well, it's not an easy drive when this happens. Had I flown, I'd already be there. But I do like having my car there. I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta say, I do like having the car there now so I can load it up with goodies. We are going this fast. We are going this fast now. Yes. We are completely, totally stopped. Well, oh, wait, wait. Oh, we're moving a little bit. We're moving a little bit. Just a little bit. Mom. We are never going to get there at this rate. If we have to keep stopping, No, oh, I didn't even know I got you on camera. You just hush, little girl. I'm trying to get you footage. Oh, Rachel's trying to film too. Okay, well, if we ever get up there, I'll show you what it is. I'm getting discouraged at the slowness of this drive. Just saying. All right, they have us officially, completely, totally stopped here. It's the only time I feel safe putting my camera out the window is uh, when we're totally stopped. But no, they must have the freeway, like, they must have the freeway shut because we're not, we're like, I mean, we're doing a little, little creepy creepies, but um, I'm pretty sure the freeway shut down. But it's literally like, if you look right there they had it down to one lane on that side and that's where it opens back up so it's literally right it's right here in front of us I just still can't tell you what it is I just still can't tell you what it is so apparently on this side uh, there was another accident well I don't know if it's an accident that we're seeing the smoke from but there's an accident on this side looks like maybe somebody was not paying attention to the road maybe they were looking at smoke Maybe they were filming on YouTube and they weren't paying attention, but we're paying attention. So I have no idea what I'm showing you right now. <laughs> Don't worry. I am paying attention. I'm just moving the camera around, but I'm not looking at it. I promise you, I'm not looking at it. Okay, I might have glanced down right there just to make sure that I'm showing you the smoke again. Okay, we're, we're almost there, but not quite. All right, it has been... Huh, 25 minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. The other side, as I showed you, there was an accident un totally unrelated to the smoke. So that side is completely stopped. This side is completely stopped. The little side roads are completely stopped. And we're going nowhere. <laughs> we're going nowhere. I mean, you can see there's, there's my... Uh, there's my odometer. You can see we really haven't traveled anywhere <laughs> in the last, since I came on here and showed you my odometer. So, um, but trust me, it's been 30 minutes and I'm a little discouraged because um, we still have three hours to get to San Diego and we have a seven o'clock appointment and right now it is 3.15 and I still want to go live from Yermo. So, I, I, it is what it is, okay? I mean, for some reason, I guess I'm learning a lesson in patience right now. That must be what it is. It is breathe, Danny. Let it go because it's out of your control and there's nothing you can do. There's no way to make it go faster. So just live in the moment. Enjoy the time with your young teenage daughter who hates being on camera. <laughs> 
and uh, be glad you're not in whatever that is up there. There does look like there's a truck, Rachel. I think you're right. Rachel said she thought she saw a truck. I do think I might be seeing things. I could totally be seeing things, but it almost does look like there's a big truck out there. But we'll see. We're almost there. Almost there where I can actually show you what it is. Okay, it appears that we are going to be doing a little off-roading. They are diverting us completely off the uh, pavement onto the dirt. Oh, like I am... Okay, curiosity is just like really getting to me now. It must be a really bad accident. And there was a lot of fire associated with said accident to the point where they can't even open the freeway. They're having to make us having to make us that's not really good grammar is it they're having to they're having to I guess having to make us I guess that works okay they're making us <laughs> they're making us leave the freeway and going on to the center dirt here this is a little bit crazy uh, I don't think I've ever experienced this I we still don't know what it is that's the thing we're still kind of in anticipation of what are we going to see here because this has been going on now for 40 45 minutes we have been stuck in this for 45 minutes and now we're off roading that's great and i've got a big truck next to me that i'm really not comfortable with oh my gosh you guys this is really bad like what are we driving through right now my poor little car my poor little juice box. Holy moly, this is insane. Oh. I just got off the phone with Jordan and uh, let her know that we may not make our mail, nail appointment tonight. Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here we're going to... I'm going to hand the phone... Oh gosh, there's another big truck. No, big truck, no. You're yeah. also on your charger. That's not going to read about I am on my charger. I don't think that's going to reach. People are getting upset with me because... And you, why do people get upset with you when you're just like not right on somebody else's bumper? It is not like we are going anywhere fast. But yet, the guy behind me is getting irritated with me because he probably sees me on my phone. And I am trying to position myself to where there isn't a big truck next to us so that you guys will be able to see what it is. So we're coming up on it here pretty quick. The truck just went through the bush. And I am going to give the phone to Rachel. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was either an RV or, no, it's gotta be a truck. That was a tractor trailer. That was a tractor trailer fire. It's, it, I'm trying to show it. It's not quite in the view yet. There's only a cop car. Oh my gosh. Well then, if you can't see it, then you're gonna... There. There, I can kind of see it. Oh my gosh. There it is. That burnt to the ground. It burnt to the ground. That's going to be expensive. Oh man. Oh, I hope the driver got... Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. I don't see any other car. Oh, wow. You can see we're still 10 miles from Yermo. Can they see the sign? I don't think so. Well, Maybe. Oh. Pan, pan up and show them the sign. Rachel's my camera person right now because I am driving. You can see it, but you can't see what it says. It's a little far away. Okay, well, it says we're 10 miles from Yermo. Oh. Wow. Oh, I have a bad feeling there's another car involved in that. Oh, you guys. Oh. No, that would be like the tractor trailer that they're spraying water on. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. Getting it? Yeah. I only see the truck. I don't see another car, which is really good news. So hopefully, hopefully that was just a truck that caught on fire. The driver got out, but wow, 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 wow. We made it 
to Yermo, and I'm so, I thought the place closed at 4, it closes at 4.30, so I have time to go in and hopefully go live for a little bit, I, we're going to see how that goes, and I'll shop for a little bit, and uh, so if you're watching this, I've already done that live, go back and watch Friday's video, which is where I would have gone live, and the replay will be there, be sure you go see that, because it's a cool little store, and we're going to get inside while we have time, and uh, I'm going to take a deep breath because that was really a shaky experience to see that truck just annihilated. I hope everybody's okay from that. All right, let's get in and see what goodies he's got this time. Okay, I'm in Yermo. I tried to go live and that just didn't work. Just not good enough a connection. So I'm going to do a little video here and then uh, I'm going to end up showing you what I got in the car. Um, and so if you're watching this, that footage is was posted on Friday. So go back and watch Friday. As I said, go back and watch all those little Friday live things. I just really love this little horse <laughs> soap dish. It's not old, but how stinking cute is that? And I don't, it doesn't have to be a soap dish. It can be a, a whatever dish. Ooh, and then look at this kitty. Hello, little kitty. Lego Vintage Cat Bank for 15 Okay. Do you like this? Is that cute? Rachel's with me shopping. And she found, she keeps finding things. I want to look at those horsies up there. Well, then look at them. I can't. Oh, she can't reach them. Montana Lifestyles. I'm not familiar with Montana Lifestyles. I can't reach them to get a good But that's sure cute. Did you see these? Did you see these, Rachel? Yeah, I did. Those are very cute. Uh, I saw. Oh, I just got dirty. oh, I thought he was cast iron. He's not. She's carrying her little bird around. I like that ducky. What don't you like? Huh? See, that's the thing with you, girl. You like, you like, you like. I know, you're just like your mother. <laughs> oh, she's seeing these horses way up here. I know. Oh, look at the big tiger. Hello, kitty kitty. Look at this little buffalo. He's kind of cool. For six. I don't think I've ever seen. Ooh, that was loud. I don't think I've ever seen a buffalo. So we're gonna get. We're gonna get him. What? 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 Another chicken. We need him. You need another chicken? Yes. Because Chance needs a girlfriend. Yes. Well, how much is the girlfriend? Gotta look at the price tags. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. What do you think? Is she worth eight dollars? She's heavy. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now I guess you're into chickens. All right, let's look around here. Yeah, I think that was the book and video room back there. Let's see. Slow. Oh, those are, those are classic. Nice. So if you guys see anything on this video, you just got to let me know in the comments because I'm coming back through this way um, in a few weeks, in May. So I can totally stop by here and pick stuff up then too. I feel like I'm like, I don't know which way to go. I'm turning. I'm going to make you guys dizzy. You see a pelican? Yeah, it's a pelican. She does see a pelican. <laughs> yes, our next stop is the candy store. I'm bribing her by stopping at the candy store next. She needs to behave herself. This is really pretty. Wow, that's heavy. Oh, it's on a, it's on a spinner. What would you put in that? That's pretty cool. I like that. I guess it could be for, you like, put nutcrackers in the middle and then the nuts around the outside. I don't know, just a guess. 
Just a guess. Some Mickey Mouse stuff. Where's that rabbit I looked at last time and you guys were like, you should get him, you should get him. He's missing here. I'm going to show it to Rachel because now he's heavy. Oh, he's not that heavy. But look at, he's got a little boo-boo on his head. Like we need to put, maybe fix him up like a little, a little hat or something. Okay, Rachel says we can fix him, so we're going to get the bunny. Okay, let's, let's look through here. Oop, excuse you. She's running things up to the front for me. What'd you see? Oh, the Clydesdales. No Budweiser for you, girl. No Budweiser for you. I know you do. Did you see the Clydesdale book behind you? His wife wrote that book. Yeah, ask him about it. like a little piano baby. Set of two kids. I only see one. Oh, maybe this goes with it. I guess this goes with it. Just like her. It's not marked though. Ooh, look at that little painted. Got little stuff in here. It's a little dark over here. Might not be picking up real good. Is this white or pink? Oh, it's white. See, it looks pink. It's not. It's white. All right. You would like it if I bought it for you? You would, huh? Oh, goodness. Bat the eyelashes like you learned to do. There you go. Okay, I'll buy you a copy. Uh huh. Sure can. Oh, I like that one. Look at that with its little duck and a little. I don't know if you can see it through the beveling there. Did you say duck? Did I say duck? Yes, I did say duck. Is this open? Oh, we can open it. Look at that. There. Now we can see it. Look at that sign. That's awesome. It's got a rabbit and a duck on a teeter. There's still glare, though. And then there's a lion. Iceberg lettuce. I know, they're advertisements. I like it. She's finding every horse in the place, I'm telling you. Every horse in the place. Come on, show me where all the horses are. I know you've already scouted them all out. You know what this is, right? That should look familiar. It is. It's a portable art stand. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But we have one. Well, there's two of us. How am I going to paint at the same time with you? You won't paint. I want to. I want to. I guess chickens are her new thing now, too. Doing the chicken thing now. I know birds. Chickens are birds. She wants real chickens, but we got to make sure we're staying put for a while before we get the whole chicken coop going. This is pretty. I, I saw that last time I was here. Cool. That's very pretty. All right, what else do we see? What else do we have to have, Rachel? There's a cow. Where? Behind you. I can't turn that fast. I make everybody dizzy. See the little baby cow? Little girl I said a mama cow. cow. Does it have anything on the bottom? What's it made of? These are all questions you have to ask. Is it wood? It's wood. Oh, it's a wood. Oh, it's a Homco, 1988. And how much is he? 
Eight. Oh, show them to me. Show them to me. Oh, we got sirens going by. All right, we're gonna get him. Look at this. It's got a little. I think it's a little perfume bottle, maybe. What's that say on the bottom? It's signed 1997. Jacobson, 1997. I'm not. Sure. I think he's just like the. I wonder if he was like the top to something. Or is he just no, supposed to be a figurine? Was, uh, just an Indian. Uh, oh. No, you're fine. Oh, 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 yeah, go okay. ahead. Tell me the story. Tell me okay, the story. It's just an Indian. It's a bear, and it's just a. Okay. Knick knack. And how much is he? I just got it in, I don't know, three dollars. Oh, sold. Okay. There you go. Yes, I see the fishy. I see the fishy. He's got a little broken nose, though. I did find a He's got a broken nose. Thing. Rachel found it. See, all I have to do is, is like let her loose, and she'll lead me to all the cool stuff. <laughs> is this supposed to be like a little saddle thing? And that, that the... Oh, it is. Isn't that cute? I think it's a cologne bottle. It's probably an Avon. Yeah, it's Avon. Avon used to do... All these cute little bottles. I don't know. Your generation might bring the Avon bottles back if you think that stuff is super cute. That's kind of how it works, right? Yeah. We've got 20 bucks here. Cool. I just want coursey stuff. Look at E.T. phone home. E.T. is $10. I think we have to get E.T. because E.T. is very cute. Okay, let's look at the jewelry goodies. My goodness. Look at this plastic. I didn't expect that to be plastic. What did you find? You found a little a deer. deer. Oh, this is missing some stones. It's kind of pretty. Pretty beads. Alright. Ooh, lots of cast iron. Yeah. Is Tanala pottery. Don't drop it. I don't have it. I don't have it. I have it kind of. <laughs> it's a turtle. Is it? It's a turtle, I think. It's a very uh, abstract kind of turtle, but I think it's supposed to be a turtle. I like him. Okay, let's get him. We're in really bad light right here. I'm not even sure anybody can see that. But yes, get the turtle. She's having fun now. Mom, I don't like to shop. Oh, you do when you're finding stuff. <laughs> positive reinforcement. That's positive reinforcement. She finds something she likes. I try to get it within reason. That way she wants to go shopping again. That's how we do this game. Right? What? Right? I can't hear you. That's okay. She found another horsey. Is this the piece that everybody was telling me I should have picked up last time? I think it is. I think you guys wanted me to get this. No, it's um, this. Oh, gosh. It's not burl wood. It's a cypress knot. A cypress knot, I think, is what I was told. But isn't this broken? Uh, no, it's just kind of naturally how the wood is. This is a real piece of wood. See? Look at the bottom. So we're going to pick that up, too. Okay. We are in Norco, California, and it is a place, it's horse town. You'll see the signs in a minute. This, this is a little city that I had promised to show on my last trip, and I was like so far behind that I didn't get to it. So we're already behind. So what the heck? We're going to go down Norco. I have promised Rachel she is going to see some horses because there are more horses <laughs> in this town than there are people. So let's go see if anybody is out trail riding. That's one of the criteria of Norco is that every business has to have a hitching post and they, they have to maintain the trails in front of their business. And um, I'm going to flip this on and we're going to drive through the little, little town of Norco. Horse Town, USA. All right, let's well, see. Was a real horse rearing. Oh, let's hope we don't see horses rearing. Yeah. But 
all of those are trails on the side of the road there. That's all horse trails. And you'll see all the businesses have to have a place to put horses while people are there, uh, including the church, I'm sure. But, um, I used to live in Norco. And uh, it's back when I used to actually own my own horses. Woo. Good. It says we are supposed to drive slow, so let's drive slow. So nobody's out trail riding that I see so far, but we'll see some horses. I'm sure we'll see some horses. There's chickens. Do chickens, chickens count? Chickens. There's chickens. Chickens. All right. Chickens. Well, we want horses. We want to find some horses. Oh, horses. 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 I told you. There's horses. That's what you do here. You just ride your horse to the store. And we have horses. Of course you have horses at the saloon. You know, all those poor horses are got to wait for their people to finish their drinks. <laughs> are you allowed to ride after you can drink? Uh, you're not supposed to be intoxicated. You, you can get in trouble if you are not if you're not riding well. Let's put it that way. Now we're on a little street called California Street, which kind of rounds about, but I'm going to show Rachel actually where I used to live and where I took horseback riding lessons. So it is down at the end of the street. And I know I have some viewers who live in Norco, so I'm waving. There's a big old Gumby and Pokey there. Look at the big old Gumby and Pokey. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I don't know what that was, but I liked it. Was it just a house? Yeah. With a big Gumby and Pokey? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. All right. We're in total horse area now. And I am showing Rachel the house that we used to live in. It was right here. Oh, my goodness. The tree is still there. This was my house. This was what started my horse craziness right there. was that that house right there. And then... You can see right over here, that goes down to the trails, like down by the river. And so we just went, boom, right out our door, and it is just trail riding heaven around here. All right, so this whole, this house, this gray, bluish gray ho house in the corner is where I used to take lessons, Rachel. Right back in that arena that, I don't know if you can see it back there, but they still have horses there. Yeah, right back there, that's where I oh, used to take lessons. Lovely. Yeah, this is why you live in Norco, so you can trail ride and go along. We're going to back up, and we're going to let them by. This is what you do. You trail ride. I like that dark day. They are all having a great time trail ride. This is it. This is Norco. How great is that? This is like, this is the life. And that little horse is being naughty. some good old trail horses going by. That one looks like he has done a few rides. <laughs> He's just, okay, I'll bring up the rear. All right. Are you excited about that now, Rachel? You got to see it. And I need to be not in reverse anymore. <laughs> I guess that was just a plastic bag. Oh, she's worried about the plastic bag. This is my nemesis wall. Um, anybody who's ever heard me tell the story about the plastic, uh, the white trash bag that came floating at me. It was, this is it. This is where it happened, right here. I bounced against that uh, little white picket fence there and against the brick wall back and forth and back and forth and did a few spins until we finally got rid of that plastic bag. And then all was right with the world and I lived. <laughs> of course he 